So, I got the recently question when one of my friends asked, okay, what will happen if I will forget to specify the period of the rent, the term of the rent? In this case, if you forgot to specify the period of the rent in your tenancy contract, and let's imagine that both parties sign the tenancy contract, and unfortunately, there is no specify the period of your tenancy contract. And uh, let's imagine that later on some um, you decided to file a case due to complication, a complicated situation with your landlord, so there was a dispute. Okay, so in this case, RERA will take all your checks, or let's say uh, you have made a payment in one check, and starting from the date of your uh, one check, this will be the contract starting date. And there is an, one law which regulates it. Uh, it's a law 26 of 2007, and Article 5 says that the, uh, the term of the lease contract must be specified. Uh, in case if the term is not specified or it's, or it's impossible to prove, so then the contract will be valid for the period of the uh, rent payment. For example, let's say you have rented a property for 100,000, and uh, let's say you have given a post a check, you know, the, checks, uh, the check date is on 5th of February, for example. But let's say your contract is supposed to start on 15th of February. So in case if your lease contract, there is no specified term, so you're, if you make a complaint or file a case or you approach a railroad or tribunal, so they will make your lease contract starting date 5th of February till 4th of February, because your first rate of payment starts from 5th of February. So that's it, hope it was clear, thanks a lot.